Has your tax assessed value gone up? Hi, I'm Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. And in Chelan County, if you're in Chelan County, you probably got a new tax assessment in the mail. And many of you, like myself, who own property in Chelan County, noticed something very peculiar. Your value went way up, way up. In some cases, 10%, 20% higher. And you may be a little shocked about your tax assessed value because you're thinking you're gonna pay way more taxes and why pay more taxes than you have to? That's why I'm shooting this video because there's actually four different types of values. Your home has four different types of value. It's not just worth X. Well, wait for it. It might just be worth X. Now, starting number one, number one, assessed value. What you got in the mail is from the assessor. They gave you a value to determine a tax, a property tax. That in the entire property tax for the entire county can't go up more than 1% a year. However, your property value, if it has gone up proportionally higher than everyone else's, you will pay more in taxes. Is there anything you can do about it? We get, we've been getting a lot of calls and I'm asked that question. Can I do anything about my tax value? Yes, you can. You can actually go to the county and you can contest it. I don't know the actual word, but you can actually contest it and, and we can help you out. So if you're thinking about contesting your property values, reach out to us. We will find comparable sales, comparable sales that might help your case. Now, some of our clients have called us and it turns out their assessed value is actually a lot lower than comparable sales. So even though it went way up, it actually was still below the market, other market values because number two, you can go online. There's many computer programs now, algorithms that will tell you what your home's worth. It's not very accurate. This is probably the least accurate besides assessed value. Assessed values are not very accurate in my professional opinion compared to what I actually sell homes for. Now, number two is computer estimate. This will give you a ballpark whether or not you should do a refinance or not, whether or not you, you should sell or not in terms of like just planning purposes. It's like have a broad stroke. A zestimate, if you read the fine print, varies up to 17%. So if you're $200,000, 17%, it could be off 34 on the front, 34 on the back. Big swing, right? But it'll give you an idea if you haven't checked in a long time. Number three is appraised value. You can hire a licensed appraiser to come by and appraise your house. When someone buys your home and they're getting financing, they're gonna hire an appraiser to make sure that they're qualified for the loan and the lender is willing to give them the money. So appraised value is a very accurate way of doing it because the appraiser is going to use comparable sales in the last six months. They're actually going to do market research. They're going to walk through your house or measure your house. It's going to be very accurate. The assessor, when was the last time the assessor walked through your house? It's been a while. When was the last time they measured their house? Been a while. I'm pretty sure if the assessor walked on your property, you'd probably ask them what they're doing on your property. The appraiser, you're asking them to come onto your property. You're asking them for a very accurate valuation. The last valuation is a broker price opinion from a real estate professional. And how this is different from the appraised value is I would come by your house and do the exact same method as the appraiser, but I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to actually look at the current marketplace, the inventory. I'm going to combine that with how we market homes and determine with accuracy what someone's willing to pay in today's market right? And not just what someone's willing to pay on the low end, but what someone's willing to pay on the high end. And that's really important because we know what buyers want. We know what buyers are willing to pay. We know what's going on with the marketplace right now. See, an appraiser, they don't market homes. They don't talk to buyers. They don't know the needs. They don't know what the wants. They don't know the trends. They just know the data, right? Step four is the most accurate way to find the value of your home in terms of what someone's actually willing to pay, which will tell you exactly how much equity you have in your, prop in your property. So these are the four different values. They vary in accuracy. Don't freak out on the assessed value. If you think you're over assessed, give us a call. We'll let you know. Number four, if you want to find out what your home's worth, there's always no obligation. We'll tell you how much equity you have in your market as of today. Hope this was valuable and I'll talk to you soon.